John. He's my dancing partner. <laughs> He's so funny. You know, I don't know what it is. He's just funny. Did I tell you? He was trying to kiss me that night. Oh, did he really? Mm-hmm. Oh my goddess, check this. Why is he so cute? Oh my god. We used to have history class together. He has the bluest eyes I've ever seen. Oh. What'll happen to Mick? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. He probably just got kicked out, I guess. I'd much rather have Diana leave. He's got a girlfriend, sweetie. That's not what I meant. I don't like her. You've met his girlfriend? No, Diana. I don't like Diana. Oh, um, I don't really have a problem with her. She hasn't done anything to bug us, has she? I think something happened before that day in class. I saw Mick and Diana together a couple weeks ago. So? In front of a motel. Really? I've never seen Mick that way before. Mick just stood there. Like, he was frozen, I swear to God. It was like his feet were glued to the ground or something. I called to him and it took him a while to figure out it was me. And then when I finally saw him, he was crying. Mick was crying? common sense that a student can use their cell phone in class. Or is there a new rule I don't know of? Why don't you share with the class what you find so interesting? Why don't you share with us since you find this class so boring? Only you can use your phone in school, huh? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna have to confiscate your phone. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? What? I thought you liked being filmed. Do you think you are? <laughs> Stop it. Hey, hey, get off me, you whore. <laughs> Give me the goddamn cell phone. Stop it. I'm <gasps> What are you doing? It is <gasps> for real. A teacher attacked by her student in the class? Could have been me? You? Mr. Lee told me about a young couple in his sister's class. The girl wanted to break up and the boy didn't. Guess what? He hammered her. Papa she. Uh huh? She wound up being in the hospital for six months. That's what happened. I am fully aware of the situation. That was unacceptable. This is a disgrace to my career. And this meeting here is to let Diana understand that we're with her. Thank you. 
and I give you my word, I will do my best to protect my teacher's right and eradicate this kind of incident from ever happening again. Do you know there was a, um, uh, uh, the rumor, rumor, uh, rumor, rumors about, the rumor her. about uh, Diana some months ago? Wait, wait, was she having an affair with a married man? Remember that day at the motel? Guess what? I recorded everything. I mailed the tape to your place three days ago. I'll not be tossed out. I want to speak to Michelle. I worked for Mr. White, Mick's father. He was a character. He wasn't very easy to work with, but he completed me. No one could fulfill me like the way he did. I can't describe it. If that never happened last summer, I would have never. I saw him and his wife and their Mick around a year ago. That was a cozy summer evening. They were taking a walk somewhere downtown. He was so, so blessed and he indulged in his parents' love. And they looked happy. And I, and I was all by myself. I felt jealous and funny and being people that I had just met. And then my anger was just, I, I couldn't breathe. Why do they deserve that? And then I was overcome by a compulsion to
Are you going to read that paper all day, Mr. White? Okay, ten seconds. This report is amazing. You know Paul? Oh, the marketing guy. Right. I don't like the way he looks at me. Like a fox. <laughs> Reminds me of myself. Much younger, though. Do I look like a... Mm. Mm, you look more like... Like a wolf, presumptuous. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> mm. What are you doing? What? I. No. I thought maybe Michelle should look at this. Put it away. Oh. Uh, I mean it. All right. It's off. You. <laughs> you are bad. Why does men always have to be on top? Hmm? Mm-hmm.